Today I have a very unusual and very nice bike, the Husqvarna Norden 901 2022. This is what the 2022 Norden 901 looks like. The stylish round headlight is reminiscent of the Svartbillen and Wittbillen street bikes from Husqvarna. So is the taillight section actually. The gun barrel logo sits bold on the side panels. The Husqvarna branding is prominent like in most of their motorcycles. As Husqvarna took the leap into the world of adventure bikes, it took on the engine of the KTM 890 Adventure with some tweaks. The engine is the same 889cc parallel twin with 4 valves per cylinder belting out 105 bhp with 100 Nm of torque. It is liquid cooled and also has an oil heat exchanger. It comes with a standard 6 speed gearbox with a slipper clutch and quick shifter that can be deactivated when required. The switchgear in the electronics is near identical to the 890 Adventure with cruise control being standard for long rides. Besides that, you have all the bells and whistles of street mode, rain mode, off-road mode and the optional explore mode with different levels of traction control intervention that you can adjust and also includes lean angle traction control. Also, according to the riding situation, the traction control can be disengaged. If you want your rear wheel to spin while exiting a corner in dirt, you can disengage traction control. The fuel tank has been redesigned and is sturdier and stronger than the 890 counterpart. Fuel tank range is around 330 kilometers depending on your riding style. The seat is a plusher ride compared to the 890 Adventure. On the longer rides, it's going to be more comfortable. Add to it the longer suspension and you can do 1000 kilometer a day rides effortlessly. Of course, it comes with a legendary WP suspension from Austria. The front suspension is fully adjustable, compression, rebound and preload. And the rear suspension is linkage with just rebound and preload adjustable, which is more than enough. Front suspension travel is 220mm and rear suspension travel is 215mm, which is more than the KTM 890 Adventure and less than the Adventure R. This bike finds a sweet spot between the two KTMs. The ground clearance is at 252mm, 9.9 inches, and comes fitted with a strong skid plate. The front double discs have a 320mm rotor with a 260mm rear rotor and comes equipped with cornering ABS as standard, which can be disengaged. The Norden comes with a 21-inch front wheel and an 18-inch rear with spokes shot with Pirelli Scorpion Rally tires. Priced at $13,999, it sits right in between the 890 Adventure and the Adventure R, just like the suspension. The 890cc engine is arguably the best parallel twin engine that money can buy. And the Norden 901 with all the electronics package, the suspension setup, the seat, the power delivery, the torque, has it become the best adventure bike that you can buy in 2022? Where do you think does the Norden actually stand? What is exactly KTM doing by manufacturing a bike like the Norden? I know Husqvarna has its own position and um, Husqvarna is owned by KTM, but what do you think? What are your comments? What are your feelings? I'd like to hear your comments in the comment section down below and I'll try to read them and reply to you.